After the historic conviction of former President Donald Trump last week, another historic trial kicking off today. A jury hearing opening statements in the trial of Hunter Biden, the president's son. Yeah, he faces three felony charges related to the purchase and possession of a gun, alleging that, among other things, he lied about his drug use status. Scripps News legal affairs correspondent Ava Joy Burnett has been following the trial from the courthouse in Wilmington and has more. The prosecution called its first witness in Hunter Biden's federal gun case on Tuesday, an FBI agent who analyzed the data from Hunter Biden's phone. And she talked about text messages that she reviewed over a period of several months. She said Hunter Biden at times was actively trying to set up meeting points so that he would be able to buy drugs. We also heard portions of Hunter Biden's memoir being read out loud inside this courtroom. And at one point, you heard Hunter Biden and say his new superpower was being able to find crack in any town. The prosecution also told the court that at one point in a three-month period in 2018, Hunter Biden withdrew about $151,000 from his bank account. This time period is very key because that is when Hunter Biden actually bought that weapon. And what prosecutors are trying to imply here is that Biden used some of that money to buy drugs when he actually bought that weapon. This is a violation of this federal rule, and this is why we're here in the first place. But of course, defense attorneys have pushed back against this. When the defense attorney went up in cross-examination, he immediately challenged this FBI agent, challenged the fact that during a one-day period in 2019, when the FBI agent said to the court that Hunter Biden sent about 62 text messages trying to get drugs, that was way more text messages than Hunter Biden sent on the day in 2018 when he actually bought that weapon. The defense attorney, Abby Lowell, also pointed out that Hunter Biden helped to pay for some of his rehab treatment. And he pointed out the fact that this particular FBI agent did not corroborate the possibility that some of that money could have been used to pay for Hunter Biden's rehab treatment. Court resumes at 9 on Wednesday morning. This FBI agent will be back on the stand. And the next witness after that could be Hunter Biden's ex-wife. Ava Joy Burnett, Scripps News, Wilmington, Delaware.